What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, I have a wager. I have multiple people that come in my inbox and they want to challenge me. They want to challenge Blue on my thoughts, on my outlook, which is one's fight specific. And that's the fight between a possible future fight. Some may say fantasy fight. I say it's reality. And that's a fight between undefeated three division world champion, former undisputed junior welterweight world champion, now the reigning undisputed reigning welterweight world champion who is widely acknowledged and recognized as the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world and Terrence Bud Crawford Terrence Bud Crawford has a record of 40 wins no losses no draws 31 big wins by way of knockout he is 36 years of age now 5 foot 8 with a 74 inch arm reach and he campaigns currently at 147 147 pounds right that's Terrence Crawford versus four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be the face of the sport of boxing and he's the undisputed super middleweight world champion and a first ballot hall of famer and has beaten 19 world champions he's only four shy of tying the record for beating most world champions which is with his rival retired legendary iconic hall of fame superstar boxer five division world champion pound for pound king pay-per-view king Two separate careers, the man known as Money, formerly known as Pretty Boy Floyd. Some may call him TBE, the best ever. Floyd Mayweather Jr., who retired. 50 wins, no loss, no draw. 27 big wins by way of knockout. And beaten more world champions than anybody in the sport of boxing at 23. That's Floyd Mayweather Jr. And this man that I'm discussing currently today, in this video, is... Saul Canelo Alvarez. Who Floyd may able to beat? But nonetheless, we're talking about Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez has beaten 19 world champions. He has a record of 60 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout. 39! He has more, almost more knockouts than Terrence Crawford has fights. 39! Terrence Crawford has 40 fights. He's 33 years of age. He's three years younger. Five foot eight with a 70 inch arm age. But he campaigns at 168. Recently, Terrence Crawford has been going on a campaign after his July 29th Las Vegas Nevada T Mobile Arena mega showdown to which he displayed his talents on the highest stage of his career thus far. When he took on and defeated now former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF welterweight world champion superstar boxer who was top five pound for pound best fighters in the world when he took on and fought him and defeated him. And that's Earl the True Spence Jr. who now has a record of 28 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He's 33 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch army. Terrence Crawford took on this challenge. Earl Spence was the bigger, stronger, more technically sound, found fighter. Southpaw. Terrence Crawford dismantled Errol Spence right before our very eyes. Shockingly, nobody saw that. Shockingly. Dropped him twice in the seventh round, dropped him in the second round, then stopped him in the ninth round. Nobody saw that coming. Then Terrence Crawford, he had a Coming to moment. Coming to moment. Initially he said, My ceiling is 154, junior middleweight. I'm not going to go past there. He started his career at 130, became a champion at 135, 147. Right? So he's a three division champion. Right? Became a champion at 135, 140, 147. He said, My ceiling. 
verse 154. He said this weight class is for a reason. But then he had a premonition. He had a coming to moment. And Terrence Crawford, he said, you know something? I'm more talented than Canelo Alvarez. I'm a better boxer than Canelo Alvarez. I'm a better athlete than Canelo Alvarez. I can go to 168. Initially now, he said, let's do it at catch weight, 160. Now he said, let's do it at 168. Now, if you go back and check the receipts, I have been on record for a very long time before Terrence Crawford even fought the likes of Errol Spence. I said, Terrence Crawford got the skill set to beat Canelo Alvarez. I even told Terrence Crawford's team, Burn in the boxes, go check the receipts. I said, Terrence Crawford can beat Canelo Alvarez. And Bernie said, Boo, you're going too far. You're going too far. His weight class is for a reason. I said, No, he got the skills, he got the talent. Right? And now Terrence Crawford believes he can believe it. And he's publicly saying, I want to fight Canelo Alvarez. Till Canelo Alvarez had to respond. A few times. And Canelo Alvarez said, well, I don't get nothing from fighting and beating Terrence Crawford. Too small, too little. Then he said, ah, well, Terrence Crawford come up to 168, I'll fight him. This is nothing new for Canelo Alvarez to fight a guy that's smaller because he fought a man Khan. Who jumped up from 147 to 160. Who started his career at 135. He fought a man Khan who was skinny. No problem fighting him. He just fought Jamel Charlo, came up two weight classes. No problem fighting him. So he has a history of doing this. Why not Terrence Crawford? Amir Khan was never considered the best fighter in the world. Jamel Charlo has never been considered the best fighter in the world. But yet you fought them. So why not fight Terrence Crawford? See, Terrence Crawford moves up in weight. He's considered the best fighter in the world. Jamel Charlo is not. Amir Khan was not. Yet you fought them. So why not fight Terrence Crawford? If you fought Jamel Charlo and you beat him, and you fought Amir Khan and you beat him, well, you would get tons more credit fighting Terrence Crawford. And you fought Floyd Mayweather. Now, it was not a catchweight, but you chose the catchweight. 152. But Floyd Mayweather is not a junior middleweight. He's a smaller guy, but he was considered the best fighter in the world. And so that was the reason and excuse to fight Floyd Mayweather. So why not fight Terrence Crawford, who's considered the best fighter in the world? Right? If Terrence Crawford can pull this off, in my opinion, he becomes top five best fighters in history. And I believe he can do it. So I got a challenge to everybody who's challenging me. Because see, the people say, well, Blue, you just don't like Canelo Alvarez. Never said that. Never, not once, have I ever told you I don't like Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is the first Ballot Hall of Famer. He's top five greatest Mexican fighters in history. I personally believe Salvador Sanchez is the greatest Mexican fighter in history. And then I have a personal bias because Juan Manuel Marquez, who's a Hall of Famer, four division world champion, is my all time favorite Mexican fighter. And I got him up there on that list. But that's my personal bias. I think Canelo Alvarez is a better fighter than Juan Manuel Marquez. But Juan Manuel Marquez is my favorite fighter. So, with that said, I love Canelo Alvarez. I think that he strategically moves around at times. So, I got a challenge for the people. $1,000 to the first five Canelo Alvarez fans. When this fight gets made, because I, I believe it will get made. I got $1,000. To the first five Canelo Alvarez fans that want to take the challenge. And here's the kicker. Here's the thing. Here's how you benefit. I bet $1,000 to the first five fans and you only have to bet $500. So my $1,000 to your $500. So in return, I'm going to get half, $2,500. If Terrence Crawford wins. But if Terrence Crawford lose. I'm going to send you $1,000. To the first five people. That's a $5,000 bet. 
to the first five Canelo Alvarez fans that believe that Canelo Alvarez would beat Terrence Crawford, all you got to do is put up 500. I'm putting up 1,000 to your 500. So if Canelo Alvarez wins, I'll send you 1,000. But if Terrence Crawford wins, you got to send me 500. Let's put our money where our mouth is. If you're truly confident and you're saying Terrence Crawford is out his league, he is outside his mind, like Regis Pogues just said, he has no chance to beat Canelo Alvarez. If you truly believe that, well, I got my five thousand dollars to twenty five hundred. Five people at five hundred dollars, twenty five hundred dollars. Let's make it happen. Terrence Crawford beats Canelo Alvarez. And not only does he beat him, guess what? Blue Blood is picking him to win the fight. Unanimous decision. So let's take the bet. My thousand to your 500. First five people, let's make it happen. When the fight is announced, Terrence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez, it will happen. The demand for it is at an all-time high. The demand for this fight is at an all-time high. So it's going to happen. Let's see. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. I'm gone. Peace.